welcome to the Reality Revolution. We are returning to the Book of Enoch today. I read the Book of the Watchers from the Book of Enoch in a previous episode. I didn't really know how it would do, but I was surprised that it did rather well, and I had several additional requests to keep on going. There are several books in the Book of Enoch. The Book of Enoch is an ancient Hebrew apocalyptic religious text ascribed by tradition to the patriarch Enoch, who is the great-grandfather of Noah. The Book of Enoch contains unique material on the origins of demons and Nephilim, why some angels fell from heaven, an explanation of why the Genesis flood was morally necessary, and prophetic exposition of the thousand-year reign of the Messiah. Three books are traditionally attributed to Enoch, including the distinct works Second Enoch and Third Enoch. None of the three books are considered to be canonical in Scripture, which is why I am fascinated with it. I don't like to be programmed. And so when I'm given the Bible and I study the Bible and there are books that are missing that some portions of Christianity at one time or another and currently in Ethiopian churches, why was this book not included in the Bible? I want to know, so I want to read it. And we read the book of the Watchers. For some, this could be treated like nothing but fan fiction. But at the same time, the language is identical to the Bible. It is a style of writing. It is biblical styled writing, which in and of itself is pretty difficult. Even if it was somebody that came along and wrote it, it's still very fascinating. Obviously, there is something missing from the flood story as to why God would do that. It's very disconcerting as somebody that likes good fiction for there not to be a very rational explanation in the Bible itself as to why this all happened and who these characters are. There's reference to the book of Enoch in the Old and New Testaments, and it is very interesting to have this knowledge, especially if you're somebody that is interested in magic. You hear reference to these archangels, and it gives you a greater understanding. Today we're reading the book of parables, and the scholarly debate centers on these chapters. The book of parables appears to be based on the book of the Watchers, but presents a later development of the idea of final judgment concerned not only with the destiny of the fallen angels, but also with the evil kings of the earth. The book of the parables uses the expression son of man for the eschatological protagonist who is also called righteous one, chosen one, and Messiah, and sits on the throne of glory in the final judgment. The first known use of the son of man as a definite title in Jewish writings is in one Enoch and its use may have played a role in the early Christian understanding and use of the title. It has been suggested that the Book of Parables in its entirety is a later edition, pointing to similarities and other earlier works. J.T. Millick dated the Book of Parables to the 3rd century. He believed that the events, the parables, were linked to historic events dating from 260 to 270 AD. There's a lot more that we could talk about it, but... I will continue to read this if you continue to watch these videos. And if you're like me, you're fascinated by it. And there's something that happens in the reading of and experiencing them in this format. Enoch is the narrator of this story. And I just simply ask, as he gives the first parable, it's almost like he's talking about something that may happen in the future. And you can read this both as a prophecy and an exclamation of something that happened in the past. It definitely gives me New Earth vibes. The Book of Enoch, the Book of Parables of Enoch, Chapter 37 The second vision which he saw, the vision of wisdom, which Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam saw, and this is the beginning of the words of wisdom, which I lifted up my voice to speak and say to those which dwell on earth, Hear, you men of old time, and see, you that come after, 
the words of the Holy One which I will speak before the Lord of Spirits. It were better to declare them only to the men of old time, but even from those that come after, we will not withhold the beginning of wisdom. Until the present day, such wisdom has never been given by the Lord of Spirits, as I have received according to my insight, according to the good pleasure of the Lord of Spirits, by whom the lot of eternal life has been given to me. Now three parables were imparted to me, and I lifted up my voice and recounted them to those that dwell on the earth. Chapter 38. The first parable, when the congregation of the righteous will appear, and sinners will be judged for their sins, and will be driven from the face of the earth, and when the righteous one will appear before the eyes of the righteous, whose elect works hang upon the Lord of spirits, and light will appear to the righteous and the elect who dwell on the earth, where then will be the dwelling of the sinners, and where the resting place of those who have denied the Lord of Spirits. It had been good for them if they had not been born, when the secrets of the righteous will be revealed and the sinners judged, and the godless driven from the presence of the righteous and elect. From that time those that possess the earth will no longer be powerful and exalted, and they will not be able to behold the face of the holy, for the Lord of Spirits has caused his light to appear on the face of of the holy, righteous, and elect. Then will the kings and the mighty perish, and be given into the hands of the righteous and holy, and from then on none will seek for themselves mercy from the Lord of spirits, for their life is at an end. Chapter 39 and it will come to pass in those days that elect and holy children will descend from the high heaven, and their seed will become one with the children of men. And in those days Enoch received books of zeal and wrath, and books of disquiet and expulsion, and mercy will not be accorded to them, says the Lord of Spirits. And in those days a whirlwind carried me off from the earth, and set me down at the end of the heavens. And there... I saw another vision, the dwelling places of the holy and the resting places of the righteous. Here mine eyes saw their dwellings with his righteous angels and their resting places with the holy. And they petitioned and interceded and prayed for the children of men. And righteousness flowed before them as water and mercy like dew upon the earth. So it is among them forever and ever. And in that place mine eyes saw the elect one of righteousness and of faith. And I saw his dwelling place under the wings of the Lord of spirits, and righteousness will prevail in his days, and the righteous and elect will be without number before him forever and ever. And all the righteous and elect before him will be strong as fiery lights, and their mouth will be full of blessing, and their lips extol the name of the Lord of spirits, and righteousness before him will never fail and uprightness will never fail before him. There I wished to dwell, and my spirit longed for that dwelling place, and there heretofore has been my portion, for so has it been established concerning me before the Lord of Spirits. In those days I praised and extolled the name of the Lord of Spirits, with blessings and praises, because he has destined me for blessing and glory according to the good pleasure of the Lord of Spirits. For a long time mine eyes regarded that place, and I blessed him and praised him, saying, Blessed is he, and may he be blessed from the beginning and forevermore. And before him there is no ceasing. He knows before the world was created what is forever and what will be from generation unto generation. Those who sleep not bless you. They stand before your glory and bless, praise, and extol, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of spirits. He fills the earth with spirits. And here my eye saw all those who sleep not. They stand before him and bless and say, Blessed be you and blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. And my face was changed, for I could no longer behold. Chapter 40. 
chapter 40. And after that I saw thousands of thousands and 10,000 times 10,000. I saw a multitude beyond number and reckoning who stood before the Lord of Spirits. And on the four sides of the Lord of Spirits I saw four presences, different from those that sleep not. And I learnt their names, for the angel that went with me made known to me their names and showed me all the hidden things. And I heard the voices of those four presences as they uttered praises before the Lord of glory. The first voice blesses the Lord of Spirits forever and ever. And the second voice I heard blessing the elect one and the elect ones who hang upon the Lord of Spirits. And the third voice I heard pray and intercede for those who dwell on the earth and supplicate in the name of the Lord of Spirits. And I heard the fourth voice fending off the devils and forbidding them to come before the Lord of Spirits to accuse them who dwell on the earth. After that I asked the angel of peace who went with me, who showed me everything that is hidden. Who are those four presences which I have seen and whose words I have heard and written down? And he said to me, This first is Michael, or Michael, the merciful and long-suffering, and the second, who is set over all the diseases and all the wounds of the children of men, is Raphael, and the third, who is set over all the powers, is Gabriel, and the fourth, who is set over the repentance unto hope of those who inherit eternal life, is named Phanuel. And these are the four angels of the Lord of Spirits, and the four voices I heard in those days. Chapter 41 And after that I saw all the secrets of the heavens, and how the kingdom is divided, and how the actions of men are weighed in the balance. And there I saw the mansions of the elect, and the mansions of the holy, and mine eye saw There are all the sinners being driven from there which deny the name of the Lord of Spirits and being dragged off, and they could not abide because of the punishment which proceeds from the Lord of Spirits. And there mine eye saw the secrets of the lightning and of the thunder and the secrets of the winds, how they are divided to blow over the earth and the secrets of the clouds and the dew. And there I saw from where they proceed in that place and from where they saturate the dusty earth. And there I saw closed chambers out of which the winds are divided, the chamber of the hail and winds, the chamber of the mist and of the clouds, and the cloud thereof hovers over the earth from the beginning of the world. And I saw the chambers of the sun and moon from where they proceed and where they come again, and their glorious return, and how one is superior to the other, and their stately orbit, and how they do not leave their orbit, and they add nothing to their orbit, and they take nothing from it, and they keep faith with each other in accordance with the oath by which they are bound together. And first the sun goes out and traverses his path, according to the commandment of the Lord of Spirits, and mighty is his name forever and ever. And after that I saw the hidden and the visible path of the moon, and she accomplishes the course of her path in that place by day, and by night the one holding a position opposite to the other before the Lord of Spirits. And they give thanks and praise, and rest not, for unto them is their thanksgiving rest, for the sun changes oft for a blessing or a curse, and the course of the path of the moon is light to the righteous and darkness to the sinners in the name of the Lord, who made a separation between the light and the darkness, and divided the spirits of men, and strengthened the spirits of the righteous in the name of his righteousness. For no angel hinders and no power is able to hinder, for he appoints a judge for them all, and he judges them all before him. Chapter 42 Wisdom found no place where she might dwell. Then a dwelling place was assigned her in the heavens. Wisdom went out to make her dwelling among the children of men and found no dwelling place. Wisdom returned to her place and took her seat among the angels and unrighteousness went out from her chambers 
whom she sought not she found, and dwelt with them as rain in a desert and dew on a thirsty land. Chapter 43 And I saw other lightnings and the stars of heaven, and I saw how he called them all by their names, and they hearkened unto him. And I saw how they are weighed in a righteous balance according to their proportions of light. I saw the width of their spaces and the day of their appearing, and how their revolution produces lightning, and I saw their revolution according to the number of the angels and how they keep faith with each other. And I asked the angel who went with me, who showed me what was hidden, What are these? And he said to me, The Lord of spirits has showed you their parabolic meaning. These are the names of the holy who dwell on the earth and believe in the name of the Lord of spirits forever and ever. Chapter 44 Also another phenomenon I saw in regard to the lightnings, how some of the stars arise and become lightnings and cannot part with their new form. Chapter 45 And this is the second parable concerning those who deny the name of the dwelling of the Holy Ones and the Lord of Spirits. And into the heaven they will not ascend, and on the earth they will not come. Such will be the lot of the sinners who have denied the name of the Lord of Spirits, who are therefore preserved for the day of suffering and tribulation. On that day mine elect one will sit on the throne of glory and will try their works and their places of rest will be innumerable and their souls will grow strong within them when they see mine elect ones and those who have called upon my glorious name. Then will I cause mine elect one to dwell among them and I will transform the heaven and make it an eternal blessing and light and I will transform the earth and make it a blessing, and I will cause mine elect ones to dwell upon it. But the sinners and evildoers will not set foot thereon, for I have provided and satisfied with peace my righteous ones, and have caused them to dwell before me. But for the sinners there is judgment impending with me, so that I will destroy them from the face of the earth. Chapter 46 And there I saw one who had a head of days, and his head was white like wool, and with him was another being, whose countenance had the appearance of a man, and his face was full of graciousness like one of the holy angels. And I asked the angel who went with me and showed me all the hidden things concerning that son of man, who he was, and from where he was, and why he went with the head of days. And he answered and said unto me, This is the son of man who has righteousness, with whom dwells righteousness, and who reveals all the treasures of that which is hidden. Because the Lord of Spirits has chosen him, and whose lot has the preeminence before the Lord of Spirits in uprightness forever. And this Son of Man, whom you have seen, will raise up the kings and the mighty from their seats, and the strong from their thrones, and will loosen the reins of the strong, and break the teeth of the sinners and he will put down the kings from their thrones and kingdoms, because they do not extol and praise him, nor humbly acknowledge from where the kingdom was bestowed upon them. And he will put down the countenance of the strong and will fill them with shame. And darkness will be their dwelling and worms will be their bed, and they will have no hope of rising from their beds, because they do not extol the name of the Lord of Spirits and raise their hands against the Most High, and tread upon the earth and dwell upon it. And all their deeds manifest unrighteousness, and their power rests upon their riches, and their faith is in the gods, which they have made with their hands. And they deny the name of the Lord of Spirits, and they persecute the houses of His congregation, and the faithful who hang upon the name of the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 47 And in those days will have ascended the prayer of the righteous and the blood of the righteous from the earth before the Lord of Spirits. In those days the holy ones who dwell above in the heavens will unite with one voice and supplicate and pray, 
and praise and give thanks and bless the name of the Lord of Spirits on behalf of the blood of the righteous which has been shed and that the prayer of the righteous may not be in vain before the Lord of Spirits that judgment may be done unto them and that they may not have to suffer forever in those days I saw the head of days when he seated himself upon the throne of his glory and the books of the living were opened before him and all his host which is in heaven above and his counselors stood before him and the hearts of the holy were filled with joy because the number of the righteous had been offered and the prayer of the righteous had been heard and the blood of the righteous been required before the Lord of Spirits chapter 48 and in that place I saw the fountain of righteousness which was inexhaustible and around it were many fountains of wisdom and all the thirst drank of them and were filled with wisdom and their dwellings were with the righteous and holy and elect and at that hour that son of man was named in the presence of the Lord of Spirits and his name before the head of days yea before the Sun and the signs were created before the stars of the heaven were made his name was named before the Lord of Spirits he will be a staff to the righteous on which to stay themselves and not fall and he will be the light of the Gentiles and the hope of those who are troubled of heart all who dwell on earth will fall down and worship before him and will praise and celebrate and bless with song the Lord of Spirits and for this reason has he been chosen and hidden before him before the creation of the world and forevermore and the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits has revealed him to the holy and righteous for he has preserved the lot of the righteous because they have hated and despised this world of unrighteousness and have hated all its works and ways in the name of the Lord of Spirits for in his name they are saved and according to his good pleasure has it been in regard to their life in these days downcast in countenance will the kings of the earth have become and the strong who possess the land because of the works of their hands for on the day of their anguish and affliction they will not be able to save themselves and I will give them over into the hands of mine elect as straw in the fire so will they burn before the face of the holy as lead in the water will they sink before the face of the righteous and no trace of them will any more be found and on the day of their affliction there will be rest on the earth and before them they will fall and not rise again and there will be no one to take them with his hands and raise them for they have denied the Lord of Spirits and his anointed the name of the Lord of Spirits be blessed chapter 49 for wisdom is poured out like water and glory fails not before him forevermore for he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness and unrighteousness will disappear as a shadow and have no continuance because the elect one stands before the Lord of Spirits and his glory is forever and ever and his might unto all generations and in him dwells the spirit of wisdom and the spirit which gives insight and the spirit of understanding and of might and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness and he will judge the secret things and none will be able to utter a lying word before him for he is the elect one before the Lord of Spirits according to his good pleasure chapter 50 and in those days a change will take place for the holy and elect and the light of days will abide upon them and glory and honor will turn to the holy on the day of affliction on which evil will have been treasured up against the sinners and the righteous will be victorious in the name of the Lord of Spirits and he will cause the others to witness this that they may repent and forego the works of their hands they will have no honor through the name of the Lord of Spirits yet through his name will they be saved and the Lord of Spirits will have compassion on them for his compassion is great and he is righteous also in his judgment and in the presence of his glory unrighteousness also will not maintain itself at his judgment the unrepentant will perish before him and from now on I will have no mercy on them says the Lord of Spirits chapter 51 
and in those days will the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it. And Sheol also will give back that which it has received, and hell will give back that which it owes. For in those days the elect one will arise, and he will choose the righteous and holy from among them. For the day has drawn nigh that they should be saved, and the elect one will in those days sit on my throne, and his mouth will pour out all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. For the Lord of spirits has given them to him and has glorified him. And in those days will the mountains leap like rams, and the hills also will skip like lambs, satisfied with milk, and the faces of all the angels in heaven will be lighted up with joy. And the earth will rejoice, and the righteous will dwell upon it, and the elect will walk thereon. Chapter 52 And after those days, in that place where I had seen all the visions of that which is hidden, I had been carried off in a whirlwind, and they had borne me towards the west. There mine eyes saw all the secret things of heaven that will be, a mountain of iron, and a mountain of copper, and a mountain of silver, and a mountain of gold, and a mountain of soft metal, and a mountain of lead. And I asked the angel who went with me, saying, What things are these which I have seen in secret. And he said unto me, All these things which you have seen will serve the dominion of his anointed, that he may be potent and mighty on the earth. And that angel of peace answered, saying unto me, Wait a little, and there will be revealed unto you all the secret things which surround the Lord of spirits. And these mountains which your eyes have seen, the mountain of iron, and the mountain of copper, and the mountain of silver, and the mountain of gold, and the mountain of soft metal, and the mountain of lead, all these will be in the presence of the elect one, as wax before the fire, and like the water which streams down from above upon those mountains, and they will become powerless before his feet. And it will come to pass in those days that none will be saved, either by gold or silver, and none will be able to escape. And there will be no iron for war, nor will one clothe oneself with a breastplate, Bronze will be of no service, and tin will be of no service, will not be esteemed, and lead will not be desired, and all these things will be denied and destroyed from the surface of the earth when the elect one will appear before the face of the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 53 There mine eye saw a deep valley with open mouths, and all who dwell on the earth and sea and islands will bring him gifts and presence and signs of homage. But that deep valley will not become full, and their hands commit lawless deeds, and the sinners devour all whom they lawlessly oppress. Yet the sinners will be destroyed before the face of the Lord of Spirits, and they will be banished from off the face of his earth, and they will perish forever and ever. For I saw all the angels of punishment abiding there, and preparing all the instruments of Satan. And I asked the angels of peace who went with me, for whom are they preparing these instruments? And he said unto me, They prepare these for the kings and the mighty of this earth, that they may thereby be destroyed. And after this the righteous and elect one will cause the house of his congregation to appear. From now on they will be no more hindered in the name of the Lord of Spirits, and these mountains will not stand as the earth before his righteousness, but the hills will be as a fountain of water, and the righteous will have rest from the oppression of sinners. Chapter 54 And I looked and turned to another part of the earth, and saw there a deep valley with burning fire. And they brought the kings and the mighty, and began to cast them into this deep valley. And there mine eye saw how they made their instruments iron chains of immeasurable weight, and I asked the angel of peace, who went with me, saying, For whom are these chains being prepared? And he said unto me, These are being prepared for the hosts of Azazel, so they may take them and cast them into the abyss of complete condemnation, and they will cover their jaws with rough stones as the Lord of Spirits commanded. And Michael and Gabriel and Raphael and Phanuel will take hold of them on that great day and cast them on that day into the burning furnace that the Lord of Spirits may take vengeance on them for their unrighteousness 
in becoming subject to Satan and leading astray those who dwell on the earth. And in those days will punishment come from the Lord of Spirits, and he will open all the chambers of waters which are above the heavens, and of the fountains which are beneath the earth. And all the waters will be joined with the waters that which is above the heavens is the masculine, and the water which is beneath the earth is the feminine. And they will destroy all who dwell on the earth, and those who dwell under the ends of the heaven. And when they are recognized their unrighteousness, which they have wrought on the earth, then by these will they perish. Chapter 55 And after that, the head of days repented and said, In vain have I destroyed all who dwell on the earth. And he swore by his great name, From now on I will not do so to all who dwell on the earth, and I will set a sign in the heaven, and this will be a pledge of good faith between me and them forever, so long as heaven is above the earth, and this is in accordance with my command. When I have desired to take hold of them by the hand of the angels on the day of tribulation and pain, because of this I will cause my chastisement and my wrath to abide upon them, says God, the Lord of Spirits. You mighty kings who dwell on the earth, you will have to behold mine elect one, how he sits on the throne of glory and judges Azazel and his associates and all his hosts in the name of the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 56 And I saw there the hosts of the angels of punishment going, and they held scourges and chains of iron and bronze. And I asked the angel of peace, who went with me, saying, To whom are these who hold the scourges going? And he said unto me, To their elect and beloved ones, that they may be cast into the chasm of the abyss of the valley. And then that valley will be filled with their elect and beloved, and the days of their lives will be at an end, and the days of their leading astray will no longer be reckoned. And in those days the angels will return and hurl themselves to the east upon the Parthians and the Medes. They will stir up the kings so that a spirit of unrest will come upon them. And they will rouse them from their thrones, that they may break out as lions from their lairs and as hungry wolves among their flocks. And they will go up and tread underfoot the land of his elect ones, and the land of his elect ones will be before them a threshing floor and a highway. But the city of my righteous will be a hindrance to their horses, and they will begin to fight amongst themselves, and their right hand will be strong against themselves, and a man will not know his brother, nor his son, his father, or his mother, until there be no number of the corpses through their slaughter, and their punishment be not in vain. In those days Sheol will open its jaws, and they will be swallowed up therein, and their destruction will be at an end. Sheol will devour the sinners in the presence of the elect. Chapter 57 and It came to pass after this that I saw another host of wagons and men riding thereon, and coming on the winds from the east and from the west to the south. And the noise of their wagons was heard, and when this turmoil took place, the holy ones from heaven remarked it, and the pillars of the earth were moved from their place, and the sound thereof was heard from the one end of heaven to the other in one day, and they will all fall down and worship the Lord of Spirits. And this is the end of the second parable. Chapter 58 and I began to speak the third parable concerning the righteous and elect. Blessed are you, you righteous and elect, for glorious will be your lot, and the righteous will be in the light of the sun. And the elect in the light of the eternal life, the days of their life will be unending, and the days of the holy without number. And they will seek the light and find righteousness with the Lord of Spirits. There will be peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal Lord. And after this, it will be said to the holy in heaven that they should seek out the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of faith, for it has become bright as the sun upon earth and the darkness is past. And there will be a light that never ends, and to a limit of days they will not come, for the darkness will first have been destroyed, 
and the light established before the Lord of spirits, and the light of uprightness established forever before the Lord of spirits. Chapter 59 In those days mine eyes saw the secrets of the lightnings and of the lights, and the judgments they execute, and they lighten for a blessing or a curse, as the Lord of spirits wills. And there I saw the secrets of the thunder, and how when it resounds above in the heaven, the sound thereof is heard, and he caused me to see the judgments executed on the earth, whether they be for well-being and blessing or for a curse, according to the word of the Lord of spirits. And after that all the secret of the lights and lightnings were shown to me, and they lightened for blessings and for satisfying. Chapter 60 In the year 500, in the seventh month, on the fourteenth day of the month in the life of Enoch, in that parable I saw how a mighty quaking made the heaven of heavens to quake, and the host of the Most High, and the angels a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand were disquieted with a great disquiet, and the head of days sat on the throne of his glory, and the angels and the righteous stood round him. And a great trembling seized me, and fear took hold of me, and my loins gave way, and dissolved were my reins. And I fell upon my face, and Michael sent another angel from among the holy ones, and he raised me up, and when he had raised me up, my spirit returned, for I had not been able to endure the look of this host, and the commotion, and the quaking of the heavens, and Michael said unto me, Why are you disquieted with such a vision? Until this day lasted the day of his mercy, and he has been merciful and long-suffering towards those who dwell on the earth. And when the day and the power and the punishment and the judgment come, which the Lord of Spirits has prepared for those who worship not the righteous law, and for those who deny the righteous judgment, and for those who take his name in vain that day is prepared, for the elect a covenant, but for sinners an inquisition. When the punishment of the Lord of Spirits will rest upon them, it will rest in order that the punishment of the Lord of Spirits may not come in vain and it will slay the children with their mothers and the children with their fathers. Afterwards, the judgment will take place according to his mercy and his patience. And on that day were two monsters parted, a female monster named Leviathan, to dwell in the abyss of the ocean over the fountains of the waters. But the male is named Behemoth, who occupied with his breast a waste of wilderness named Duedain, on the east of the garden where the elect and righteous dwell where my grandfather was taken up, the seventh from Adam, the first man whom the Lord of Spirits created. And I sought the other angel that he should show me the might of those monsters, how they parted on one day and cast, the one into the abysses of the sea, and the other unto the dry land of the wilderness. And he said to me, You son of man, herein you do seek to know what is hidden. And the other angel who went with me and showed me what was hidden told me what is first and last in the heaven, in the height, and beneath the earth in the depth, and at the ends of the heaven, and at the foundation of the heaven, and the chambers of the winds, and how the winds are divided, and how they are weighed, and how the portals of the winds are reckoned, each according to the power of the wind, and the power of the lights of the moon, and according to the power that is fitting and the divisions of the stars according to their names, and how all the divisions are divided, and the thunders according to the places where they fall, and all the divisions that are made among the lightnings, that it may lighten, and their host, that they may at once obey. For the thunder has places of rest, which are assigned to it while it is waiting for its peal, and the thunder and the lightning are inseparable. And although not one and undivided, they both go together, through the spirit and separate not for when the lightning lightens the thunder utters its voice and the spirit enforces a pause during the peal and divides equally between them for the treasury of their peals is like the sand and each one of them as it peals is held in with a bridle and turned back by the power of the spirit and pushed forward according to the many quarters of the earth 
and the spirit of the sea is masculine and strong and according to the might of his strength he draws it back with a rain and in like manner it is driven forward and disperses amid all the mountains of the earth and the spirit of the hoarfrost is his own angel and the spirit of the hail is a good angel and the spirit of the snow has forsaken his chambers on the account of his strength there is a special spirit therein and that which ascends from it is like smoke and its name is frost and the spirit of the mist is not united with them in their chambers but it has a special chamber for its course is glorious both in light and in darkness and in winter and in summer and in its chambers is an angel and the spirit of the dew has its dwelling at the ends of the heaven and is connected with the chambers of the rain and its course is in winter and summer and its clouds and the clouds of the mist are connected and the one gives to the other and when the spirit of the rain goes out from its chamber the angels come and open the chamber and lead it out and when it is diffused over the whole earth it unites with the water on the earth for the waters are for those who dwell on the earth for they are a nourishment for the earth from the most high who is in heaven therefore there is a measure for the rain and the angels take it in charge and these things i saw towards the garden of the righteous and the angel of peace who was with me said to me these two monsters prepared conformably to the greatness of god will feed chapter 61 and i saw in those days how long cords were given to those angels and they took to themselves wings and flew and they went towards the north and i asked the angel saying unto him why have those angels taken these cords and gone off and he said unto me they have gone to measure and the angel who went with me said unto me these will bring the measures of the righteous and the ropes of the righteous to the righteous that they may stay themselves on the name of the lord of spirits forever and ever the elect will begin to dwell with the elect and those are the measures which will be given to faith and which will strengthen righteousness and these measures will reveal all the secrets of the depths of the earth and those who have been destroyed by the desert and those who have been devoured by the beasts and those who have been devoured by the fish of the sea that they may return and stay themselves on the day of the elect one for none will be destroyed before the lord of spirits and none can be destroyed and all who dwell above in heaven received a command and power and one voice and one light like unto fire and that one with their first words they blessed and extolled and lauded with wisdom and they were wise in utterance and in the spirit of life and the lord of spirits placed the elect one on the throne of glory and he will judge all the works of the holy above in the heaven and in the balance will their deeds be weighed and when he will lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways according to the word of the name of the lord of spirits and their path according to the way of the righteous judgment of the lord of spirits then they will all with one voice speak and bless and glorify and extol and sanctify the name of the lord of spirits and he will summon all the host of the heavens and all the holy ones above and the host of god the cherubim seraphim and ophanim and all the angels of power and all the angels of principalities and the elect one and the other powers on the earth and over the water on that day will raise one voice and bless and glorify and exult in the spirit of faith and in the spirit of wisdom and in the spirit of patience and in the spirit of mercy and in the spirit of judgment and of peace and in the spirit of goodness and will all say with one voice blessed is he and may the name of the lord of spirits be blessed forever and ever all who sleep not above in heaven will bless him all the holy ones who are in heaven will bless him and all the elect who dwell in the garden of life and every spirit of light who is able to bless and glorify and extol and hallow your blessed name and all flesh will beyond measure glorify and bless your name forever and ever for great is the mercy of the lord of spirits and he is long suffering in all his works and all that he has created he has revealed to the righteous and elect in the name of the Lord of Spirits. 
chapter 62. And so the Lord commanded the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who dwell on the earth and said, Open your eyes and lift up your horns if you are able to recognize the elect one. And the Lord of spirits seated him on the throne of his glory and the spirit of righteousness was poured out upon him. And the word of his mouth slays all the sinners and all the unrighteous are destroyed from before his face. And there will stand up in that day all the kings and the mighty and all the exalted and those who hold the earth and they will see and recognize how he sits on the throne of his glory and righteousness is judged before him and no lying word is spoken before him. Then will pain come upon them as on a woman in travail and she has pain in bringing out when her child enters the mouth of the womb and she has pain in bringing out and one portion of them will look on the other and they will be terrified and they will be downcast of countenance and pain will seize them when they see that son of man sitting on the throne of his glory and the kings and the mighty who all possess the earth will bless and glorify and extol him who rules over all who was hidden for from the beginning the son of man was hidden and the most high preserved him in the presence of his might and revealed him to the elect and the congregation of the elect and holy will be sown and all the elect will stand before him on that day and all the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who rule the earth will fall down before him on their faces and worship and set their hope upon the son of man and petition him and supplicate for mercy at his hands nevertheless that lord of spirits will so press them that they will have to go out from his presence and their faces will be filled with shame and the darkness grow deeper on their faces and he will deliver them to the angels for punishment to execute vengeance on them because they have oppressed his children and his elect and they will be a spectacle for the righteous and for his elect they will rejoice over them because the wrath of the lord of spirits rests upon them and his sword is drunk with their blood and the righteous and elect will be saved on that day and they will never again see the face of the sinners and unrighteous and the lord of spirits will abide over them and with that son of man will they eat and lie down and rise up forever and ever and the righteous and elect will have risen from the earth and ceased to be of downcast countenance and they will have been clothed with garments of glory and these will be the garments of life from the lord of spirits and your garments will not grow old nor your glory pass away before the lord of the spirits chapter 63 in those days will the mighty and the kings who possess the earth implore him to grant them a little respite from his angels a punishment to whom they were delivered that they might fall down and worship before the lord of spirits and confess their sins before him and they will bless and glorify the lord of spirits and say blessed is the lord of spirits and the lord of kings and the lord of the mighty and the lord of the rich and the lord of the glory and the lord of wisdom and splendid in every secret thing is your power from generation to generation and your glory forever and ever deep are all your secrets and innumerable and your righteousness is beyond reckoning we have now learnt that we should glorify and bless the lord of kings and him who is king over all kings and they will say would that we had rest to glorify and give thanks and confess our faith before his glory and now we long for a little rest but find it not we follow hard upon and obtain not and light has vanished from before us and darkness is our dwelling place forever and ever for we have not believed before him nor glorified the name of the lord of spirits nor glorified our lord but our hope was in the scepter of our kingdom and in our glory and in the day of our suffering and tribulation he saves us not and we find no respite for confession that our lord is true in all his works and in his judgments and his justice and his judgments have no respect of persons and we pass away from before his face on account of our works and all our sins are reckoned up in righteousness now they will say unto themselves our souls are full of unrighteous gain but it does not prevent us from descending from the midst thereof in the burden of sheol and after that their faces will be filled with darkness and shame before that son of man and they will be driven from his presence and the sword will abide before his face in their midst so spoke the lord of spirits this is the ordinance and judgment with respect to the mighty 
and the kings and the exalted and those who possess the earth before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 64 And other forms I saw hidden in that place. I heard the voice of the angel saying, These are the angels who descended to the earth and revealed what was hidden to the children of men and seduced the children of men into committing sin. Chapter 65 And in those days Noah saw the earth, that it had sunk down, and his destruction was nigh. And he arose from there and went to the ends of the earth and cried aloud to his grandfather Enoch. And Noah said three times with an embittered voice, Hear me, hear me, hear me. And I said unto him, Tell me what it is that is falling out on the earth, that the earth is in such evil plight and shaken, lest perhaps I will perish with it. And there was a great commotion on the earth, and a voice was heard from heaven, and I fell on my face. And Enoch, my grandfather, came, and stood by me, and said unto me, Why have you cried unto me with a bitter cry and weeping? And a command has gone out from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth, that their ruin is accomplished, because they have learnt all the secrets of the angels, and all the violence of the devils, and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery, and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth, and how silver is produced from the dust of the earth, and how soft metal originates in the earth, for lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first, it is a fountain that produces them, and an angel stands therein, and that angel is preeminent. And after that, my grandfather Enoch took hold of me by my hand and raised me up and said unto me, Go, for I have asked the Lord of spirits as touching this commotion on the earth. And he said unto me, Because of their unrighteousness, their judgment has been determined upon and will not be withheld by me forever. Because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learnt, the earth and those who dwell upon it will be destroyed, and these they have no place of repentance forever. Because they have shown them what was hidden, and they are damned. But as for you, my son, the Lord of Spirits knows that you are pure and guiltless of this reproach concerning the secrets, and he has destined your name to be among the holy and will preserve you among those who dwell on the earth, and has destined your righteous seed both for kingship and for great honors, and from your seed will proceed a fountain of the righteous and holy without number forever. Chapter 66 And after that he showed me the angels of punishment who are prepared to come and let loose all the powers of the waters which are beneath in the earth in order to bring judgment and destruction on all who abide and dwell on the earth. And the Lord of Spirits gave commandment to the angels who were going out that they should not cause the waters to rise but should hold them in check for these angels were over the powers of the waters and I went away from the presence of Enoch. Chapter 67 And in those days the word of God came unto me, and he said unto me, Noah, your lot has come up before me, a lot without blame, a lot of love and uprightness. And now the angels are making a wooden building, and when they have completed that task, I will place my hand upon it and preserve it, and there will come out from it the seed of life, and a change will set so in the earth will not remain without inhabitant. And I will make fast your seed before me forever and ever, and I will spread abroad those who dwell with you. It will not be unfruitful on the face of the earth, but it will be blessed and multiply on the earth in the name of the Lord. And he will imprison those angels who have shown unrighteousness in that burning valley which my grandfather Enoch had formerly shown to me in the west among the mountains of gold and silver and iron and soft metal and tin. And I saw that valley in which there was a great convulsion and a convulsion of the waters. And when all this took place from that fiery molten metal and from the convulsion thereof, in that place there was produced a smell of sulfur. And it was connected with those waters and that valley of the angels who had led astray mankind burned beneath that land. And through its valley proceed streams of fire where these angels are punished who had led astray those who dwell upon the earth. But those waters will in those days serve for the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who dwell on the earth for the healing of the body, but for the punishment of the spirit. Now their spirit is full of lust. 
that they may be punished in their body, for they have denied the Lord of spirits, and see their punishment daily, and yet believe not in his name. And in proportion as the burning of their bodies becomes severe, a corresponding change will take place in their spirit forever and ever, for before the Lord of spirits none will utter an idle word, for the judgment will come upon them, because they believe in the lust of their body and deny the spirit of the Lord. And those same waters will undergo a change in those days. For when those angels are punished in these waters, these water springs will change their temperature. And when the angels ascend, this water of the springs will change and become cold. And I heard Michael answering and saying, This judgment with which the angels are judged is a testimony for the kings and the mighty who possess the earth because these waters of judgment minister to the healing of the body of the kings and the lust of their body. Therefore, they will not see and will not believe that those waters will change and become a fire which burns forever. Chapter 68 And after that, my grandfather Enoch gave me the teaching of all the secrets in the book in the parables which had been given to him. And he put them together for me in the words of the book of the parables. And on that day, Michael answered Raphael and said, The power of the spirits transports and makes me to tremble because of the severity of the judgment of the secrets, the judgment of the angels who can endure the severe judgment which has been executed and before which they melt away. And Michael answered again and said to Raphael, Who is he? whose heart is not softened concerning it, and whose reins are not troubled by the word of judgment that has gone out upon them because of those who have so led them out. And it came to pass when he stood before the Lord of Spirits. Michael said this to Raphael, I will not take their part under the eye of the Lord, for the Lord of Spirits has been angry with them, because they do as if they were the Lord. Therefore all that is hidden will come upon them forever and ever, for neither angel nor man will have his portion in it, but alone they have received their judgment forever and ever. Chapter 69 And after this judgment they will terrify and make them to tremble, because they have shown this to those who dwell on the earth. And behold the names of those angels, and these are their names. The first of them is Samjaza, the second is Artakifa, and the third Armin, the fourth Corkabel, the fifth Turayel, the sixth Rumjal, the seventh Donjal, the eighth Nekayel, the ninth Barakayel, the tenth Azazel, the eleventh Armoros, the twelfth Bartarjal, the thirteenth Busashjal, the fourteenth Hananel, the fifteenth Turel, and the sixteenth Simapaziel, the seventeenth Jetrel, the eighteenth Tumayel, the nineteenth Turel, the twentieth Rumayel, the twenty-first Azazel, and these are the chiefs of their angels and their names and their chief ones over hundreds, over fifties, and over tens. The name of the first Jekon, that is, the one who led astray all the sons of God and brought them down to the earth and led them astray through the daughters of men. And the second was named Azbeel. He imparted to the holy sons of God evil counsel and led them astray so that they defiled their bodies with the daughters of men. And the third was named Godreel. He it is who showed the children of men all the blows of death, and he led astray Eve and showed the weapons of death to the sons of men, the shield and the coat of mail and the sword for battle and all the weapons of death to the children of men. And from his hand they have proceeded against those who dwell on the earth from that day and forevermore. And the fourth was named Penamu. He taught the children of men the bitter and the sweet, and he taught them all the secrets of their wisdom, and he instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper, and thereby many sinned from eternity to eternity and until this day. For men were not created for such a purpose to give confirmation to their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous and death which destroys everything, could not have taken hold of them. But through this, their knowledge, they are perishing, and through this power, it is consuming me. And the fifth was named Kajdeja. This is he who showed the children of men all the wicked smiting of spirits and demons, 
and the smiting of the embryo in the womb that it may pass away and the smiting of the soul the bites of the serpent and the smiting which befall through the noontide heat the son of the serpent named Tabaet and this is the task of Kazbil the chief of the oath which he showed to the holy ones when he dwelt high above in glory and its name is Bika this angel requested Mikhail to show him the hidden name that he might enunciate it in the oath so that those who might quake before the name and oath who revealed all that was in secret to the children of men and this is the power of this oath for it is powerful and strong and he placed this oath Ake in the hand of Mikhail and these are the secrets of this oath and they are strong through this oath and the heaven was suspended before the world was created and forever and through it the earth was founded upon the water and from the secret recesses of the mountains come beautiful waters from the creation of the world and unto eternity and through that oath the sea was created and at its foundation he set for it the sand against the time of its anger and it dare not pass beyond it from the creation of the world unto eternity and through that oath are the depths made fast and abide and stir not from their place from eternity to eternity and through that oath the sun and moon complete their course and deviate not from the ordinance from eternity to eternity and through that oath the stars complete their course and he calls them by their names and they answer him from eternity to eternity and in like manner the spirits of the world and of the winds and of all zephyrs and their paths from all the quarters of the winds and there are preserved the voices of the thunder and the light of the lightnings and there are preserved the chambers of the hail and the chambers of the hoarfrost and the chambers of the mist and the chambers of the rain and the dew and all these believe and give thanks before the Lord of Spirits and glorify him with all their power and their food is in every act of thanksgiving they thank and glorify and extol the name of the Lord of Spirits forever and ever and this oath is mighty over them and through it they are preserved and their paths are preserved and their course is not destroyed and there was great joy among them and they blessed and glorified and extolled because the name of that son of man had been revealed unto them and he set on the throne of his glory and the sum of judgment was given unto the son of man and he caused the sinners to pass away and be destroyed from off the face of the earth and those who have led the world astray with chains will they be bound and in their assemblage place of destruction will be imprisoned and all their works vanish from the face of the earth and from now on there will be nothing corruptible for that son of man has appeared and has seated himself on the throne of his glory and all evil will pass away before his face and the word of that son of man will go out and be strong before the Lord of Spirits chapter 70 and it came to pass after this that his name during his lifetime was raised aloft to that son of man and to the Lord of Spirits from among those who dwell on the earth and he was raised aloft on the chariots of the spirit and his name vanished among them and from that day I was no longer numbered among them and he set me between the two winds between the north and the west where the angels took cords to measure for me the place for the elect and righteous and there I saw the first fathers and the righteous who from the beginning dwell in that place chapter 71 and it came to pass after this that my spirit was translated and it ascended into the heavens and I saw the holy sons of God they were stepping on the flames of fire their garments were white and their raiment and their faces shone like snow and I saw two streams of fire and the light of that fire shone like hyacinth and I fell on my face before the Lord of Spirits and the angel Michael one of the archangels seized me by my right hand and lifted me up and led me out into all the secrets and he showed me all the secrets of righteousness and he showed me all the secrets of the ends of the heaven and all the chambers of the stars and all the luminaries from where they proceed before the face of the holy ones and he translated my spirit into the heaven of the heavens and I saw there as it were a structure built of crystals and between these crystals tongues of living fire and my spirit saw the girdle which 
girt that house of fire, and on its four sides were streams full of living fire, and there girt that house, and around were seraphim, cherubim, and ophanim. And these are they who sleep not and guard the throne of his glory. And I saw angels who could not be counted, a thousand thousands, a ten thousand times ten thousand, encircling that house, and Michael, and Raphael, and Gabriel, and Phanuel, and the holy angels who are above the heavens go in and out of that house, and they come out from that house, and Michael, and Gabriel, Raphael, and Phanuel, and many holy angels without number, and with them the head of days. His head white and pure as wool, and his raiment indescribable, and I fell on my face, and my whole body became relaxed, and my spirit was transfigured, and I cried with a loud voice with the spirit of power, and blessed, and glorified, and extolled. And these blessings which went out of my mouth were well-pleasing before that head of days. And that head of days came with Michael, and Gabriel, and Raphael, and Phanuel, thousands and tens of thousands of angels without number. And he came to me and greeted me with his voice and said unto me, This is the Son of Man who is born unto righteousness, and righteousness abides over him, and the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not. And he said unto me, He proclaims unto you peace in the name of the world to come. From hence has proceeded peace since the creation of the world, and so will it be unto you forever and forever and ever and all will walk in his ways since righteousness never forsakes him with him will be their dwelling places and with him their heritage and they will not be separated from him forever and ever and ever and so there will be length of days with that son of man and the righteous will have peace and an upright way in the name of the lord of spirits forever and ever So this concludes the fascinating book of parables of Enoch. Who knows exactly what it means, but there's some things that we can take from it that are interesting. Notice that he mentions the whirlwind several times. The whirlwind is mentioned in the book of Job when Job meets God at the end. So when they mention the whirlwind, I always find that fascinating. It always makes me think of the Merkaba because the whirling Merkaba. I also find it interesting that they mention Phanuel instead of Uriel when they name the four angels. We have Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and then Phanuel. I had not heard this angel name, and I've read many occult writings about angels. I'm fascinated by the angel names. And so the archangel Phanuel is the angel of repentance and hope. He is mentioned briefly in the Bible According to what I have here is that he is mentioned only once in the New Testament in Luke 2.36. He was a member of the tribe of Asher and his name means the face of God. So it's interesting when we do the LBRP, we're calling upon these four angels, but not Phanuel, we're calling upon Uriel. I would love to know those magic practitioners out there that utilize this important ritual, which is used by the members of LL Research when they are channeling Quo and was used by pretty much every major practitioner of magic, including the Golden Dawn and most secret societies. Why was Fanuel replaced with Uriel or is there any difference? Something I don't know. Another interesting thing is they give the reasoning for the flood, not that the angels had just slept with the women on earth and had the Nephilim. No, no, no. They say the big sin is that the angels told the humans the secrets. But the really interesting contradiction here is this whole entire book is Enoch at the beginning, and then it appears that Moses is talking later. I'm not quite sure because it seems like Moses is talking at the end of the book. They're being given the secrets. So they're being given the secrets, which is what God said the angels were not supposed to do, and literally angels are giving the secrets. It's an interesting paradox. I'm sure there's an explanation for it. Obviously, those other angels did it without the express permission of God, which is given several names in this. 
we have the head of days, which is rarely mentioned as a name of God. I've rarely heard the name the head of days. The Lord of Spirits is mentioned. There is the Ancient of Days, which is mentioned often even by Neville Goddard, and there may be some similarity between that. In fact, it could be that they're referring to the Ancient of Days. Remember, this is only a translation. But as always, with a text like this, take it or leave it. If you find something that interests you, research it more. Remember, they're saying in the name of the Lord of Spirits, the Lord is referred to and the name of the Lord being important, which could be the I am. There is a section in this, it felt like they were literally talking about the brain when they talk about the crystal structure. And so I'd love to get a deep analysis of this now that I've read it. And I will continue to research this. And if I find more information, I might share it with you. If you guys like this, I will read the next book. It is entirely up to you. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com and welcome to The Reality Revolution.